Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to flush your uh, your Android TV box firmware. Uh, I'm currently running 7.7.1.1 on this box. is a Mikul Mikul M8 S Pro. You see, in, when in order for you to get the firmware, you gotta go to ChinaGetsReviews.com. You're gonna scroll down to your to the bottom of the page where you find your uh, box. So see, because there's many boxes, there's many firmware for different type of boxes. So you just kind of look through it over here. Make sure you use the right firmware and proceed at your, at your own risk. Okay, so mine is this one here. This one is a three gigs RAM. It's a, a sixteen a sixteen gigs uh, RAM. Because there's two type of this. There's one the three or four gigs of RAM, and thirty two gigs of a uh, uh, ROM. So I'm gonna show you this one. So I'm gonna go back out of here, and I'm gonna go thing. I believe I saw it on number. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, see, there's so many, so many type of boxes. Uh, see, here is another one. Oh, uh, see, this is another one. This is a pro. See. This is the pro. This is the two version I'm talking about. M8 M8 S Pro, three gigs to the two and the two. Oh, but there's um, there's one for two, two and sixteen gigs. So if you're running the two two gigs RAM, sixteen gigs, you, you have to come and get it here. And if and if you're running the six, the three gigs and thirty two here, but I know I'm running the. 3 gig 16 316 that's that's what I'm running and I think it's a number four okay no it's not here but anyways uh, let me see where I um, number four I think it was So yeah, it's number four. This is my box. There's there's multiple boxes. Looks they're the same, different different uh, RAM and storage. So this one I downloaded. So see, download seven that one that two stock firmware SD card version for me cool M A S Pro TV box. So I downloaded from here. And I got the I got it right here. Uh, the, right here. This is the one. So what I did, I I just a USB drive. I copied this and and moved it to my uh, USB drive or and on my USB drive. You can use a single USB or a USB card reader, which the one I did. I'm going to show you in a minute. So you copy, but so you copy you copy you copy that and move it to the uh, uh, USB drive or the uh, SD card, whatever you're using. I will show you in a minute. Okay, so here I'm again. So this is my card reader. See, so got a, one, two, three types of card readers. So I inserted my card, my little card, over here on this slot, and put it on my on my computer, and transfer it the uh, firmware to the car the car is already installed over here you can see the little black one right there on where it says DF okay so uh, what I did then I'm um, then you're gonna go here you don't do anything just download it and transfer it to if you want to do it the way that I'm doing it 
you just go to uh, update okay update go to local update see how it is right up there uh, you can see it okay so just push that okay again then you're gonna go and you're gonna go down here you're gonna push you're gonna select wipe data and wipe media all right then you're gonna go up you're gonna you're gonna click confirm okay and then you will get this message here this message uh, this this section cannot be interrupted when you are updating please back up your data okay so it clearly tell you to back up your data I didn't I don't really care about my data because I already have a SD card so it's this one here where I have all my stuff okay so I'm going to hit update update and it will take about five ten minutes it it could take longer than that okay so the box just rebooted itself once I uh, hit update and you will see this this here this uh, installing system update so basically all you gotta do is just wait be patient because it's it takes its time it can, it could take like five minutes ten minutes even 30 minutes Yeah, this is a zip file so all all I did is download the zip file and transfer it to my SD card just to be clear I didn't use any other tool to uh, to make the the firmware update like a IMG like image or stuff like that well, I just copied it and pasted it to the car and this is what I'm doing right now updating the firmware this this one currently is using 7 7.1.1 I'm updating it to 7.1.2 that's according to the website that's the current one that they have and they have two versions on the website they have like IMG like you just download it you can you use that that firmware to install it through your computer but there's more step to do i'm not covering that today so i'm just doing it the easy way the uh, the other way you you might break your uh android box and you don't want to do that so see it's waiting if you wonder where I bought this, I bought this at uh, Gearbest for I think three dollars or two dollars, something like that. And I got like fifty cents shipping. And yeah, it's pretty good. I went to my local store; they wanted like fifteen or twenty dollars for this, and I was like, screw it. I just bought it in Gearbest, and you know. For, I, I'm not sure if it was for two or three dollars. See, just it's simple and easy. Installing update. It's erasing. Because I already installed it. I already installed it, but I'm just redoing it again for you guys to look at it. and it just went off again i mean i'm sure it's rebooting and then there is
and this one came out. Me box make your life cool, colorful. So I don't know why he's giving me that message, but hey, I'm just letting it do his thing. That's this is the easy method I I figured out to uh, to flash uh, to update your firmware on the on this kind of box. There's other there's other methods that you can use. But to me, this is the easiest one and faster one. I'm just gonna wait. Wait, let it load up. There we go. So, system pro setup app, the dump powered off. Please wait. As you see, just wait. And also this will update your uh, your TV center on the box because on this on this one TV center which is basically the version of Cody it was just in 17.1 I mean 17.1 is not bad but this one will update it to 17.6 okay this is box is back online all right so let me see let me see what we got here different so okay first let me get let me go back and go setting and then Okay, so let's see what we got here. We're gonna go uh, uh, about and see. That's does the version seven point one point two or seven one seven that one that one the two, but before I was running seven that one that one. Now it's seven that one that two. I believe that's the uh, current version they have on the website. So I'm gonna get back out of there. I'm gonna see what we got news. Okay, so basically it comes Netflix. It comes with it, but I don't just Netflix. STB Emu Pro. Okay, configure application. Uh, I might work on this later on. Oh, uh, and then this DRM info is something different that uh it came out. Thing. Alright. 
So that's how you update your firmware on the box. And this one, I'm, I'm going to open up TV Center. Isn't it installed? Okay. So say the app isn't installed. Okay. What you gotta do is just go here on apps. Open apps and then open open it from here, and it will install. It will install it. We'll proceed with the installation. Go down and then install, and it's gonna install it. Once it's installed, you can use it from the the front, the main front panel service. Done. This is done gonna keep this is done right now. Okay, we're gonna go back to the mainstream, then just go and open up and there you go. It's let's open it up. Just open it up and you should be good to go. And I'm going to show you the version I'm running now by going to system information and right there version info build tv center 17.6 which is the most current one other than the uh Cody 18 so see compiled january 16 2018 so this is the most recent the most recent uh Cody version and that's it we're gonna exit out of here and go all right see so that that's it for today I hope you like the video and I show you the simple basic steps how to how to do uh, how to update your firmware thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel and share the video if you can this is my box show you this is the version uh, ROM 3 gigs flash 16 gigs so,